Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, brothers and sisters, again after Ramadan and Eid Mubarak to all of you, and we ask Allah to accept all our deeds, our fasting, our qiyam, our recitation of the Quran, our dua, our dhikr, and all types of acts of worship. Uh, a Muslim is required to always busy himself or herself with one act of worship or another, one means of drawing closer to Allah Azza wa Jal or another. And he is required to always be keen on purifying his soul. Uh, and for this purpose, for the purpose of purifying the soul, purifying oneself, cleansing the heart, Allah Azza wa Jal legislated the, the different types of acts of worship. And as much as a person performs acts of obedience and acts of worship, as much as his share of purification will be, and as far and as negligent he or she will be regarding to that as far as he will be from purifying his or her self. And this is one of the reasons Allah Azza wa Jal gives us different opportunities and legislates different things to achieve this. One of these precious opportunities is fasting six days of Shawwal, which is the month after Ramadan, after the end of Ramadan and after the day of Eid, of course, because we're not allowed, as we mentioned in the uh, clip of Eid, we're not allowed to, to fast the day of Eid. So after the day of Eid, it is legislated, rather it is recommended and it will be highly rewarded for a person to fast six days during the month of Shawwal, whether they are consecutive six days in a row or one breaks them or separates them uh, throughout the month. Uh, in the book of Al Imam Muslim, the Prophet وسلم, said, whoever fasts Ramadan and then follows that with fasting six days of Shawwal, it will be as if he has fasted the entire year. The Prophet ﷺ explained that in another narration that is reported by Ahmed and classified as authentic by Al-Albani saying, whoever performs a good deed will get 10 multiples in reward. It will be multiplied tenfold. Then he said, whoever fasts Ramadan a month for 10 months, multiplied by 10, and then he fasts six days after the month ends, meaning after Ramadan ends in the following month. This is equivalent to a full year. Why? Because these six days, if we multiply them by 10, that's 60 days, that's two months. And he والسلام, told us that the month of Ramadan is equivalent to 10. So that's two plus 10, that's the entire year there. So the reward of fasting these six days after Ramadan will give the person the reward of fasting a full year complete. One of the virtues of fasting the six days of uh, Shawwal is that it makes up for any shortage during the month of Ramadan. In the book of Abu Dawood and classified as authentic by Al-Albani, the Prophet wasallam informed us that on the day of uh, judgment, when the person is being held to account, Allah Azza wa Jal will say to the angels, when there is a shortage in one of the acts of worship, he would say or instruct the angels to look for his optional acts of worship of that category. So in salah, uh, other than the five days, uh, five daily prayers, the optional before and the confirmed uh, sunnahs, whether before or after, the uh, salatul duha, qiyamul layl, any uh, uh, optional 
open general uh, salah. Likewise for fasting. If Ramadan had a problem, the person had a shortage in Ramadan, the efficiency of some sort, then Allah Azza wa Jal will instruct the angels to see if he has something to make it up with. And the six days of Shawwal will be one of the sources to make up for any deficiency or shortage in the fasting of the month of Ramadan. Now, if one wants to get that reward mentioned and benefit from that full year reward mentioned in the narration of uh, Imam Ahmed, then he must complete the six days. So if he or she uh, starts fasting and fasts one, two, three, four, five, and then stops, he will not get that reward as per the narration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, he is not sinful by any means because the Prophet Sallallahu said, and this is reported by a Tirmidhi classified by Al-Albani as authentic. He said the fasting person is in command of his, himself. If he wishes to fast, he will fast. If he wishes to break his fast, he will break his fast in optional fast. Now, the big question that is always raised and people continuously ask about. Must I first make up any days I missed in Ramadan for illness, for travel, for women in, in their menses or postpartum bleeding or whatever? Should the person first make these days up before he or she are allowed? Is it legislated for them to fast these optional days? Or should they make the obligatory days, the, the month of Ramadan's days, and then fast these optional days? Well, according to the majority of the scholars, it is allowed for the person to fast these six days before he or she make up or makes up for the uh, missing days of Ramadan. The... the uh, Ahnaf, the, the Hanafi scholars, Abu Hanifa and his followers, uh, in their madhab, it is allowed with no problems. The Shafi'is and the Malikis say that it is allowed, but it is not recommended. It is best that he makes up and then fasts. But if he does, then it's counted for him. He will get the reward. And the uh, Hanabila, the Hanbali scholars and the Madhab uh, are of the opinion that no, it is not legislated for him to or her to fast these optional days before the completion of whatever was missed in Ramadan. And then, and only then, uh, he or she can fast these six days. So if someone has, say, traveled six days, 10 days, 15 days, became ill for 5 days, she had, were, was on her menses for 2 weeks, then they need to make these during the month of Shawwal, and then after that add 6 to get the reward. That's according to the, the Hanbali Madhab. However, the majority of the scholars are of the opinion that you are allowed and you will be rewarded, and the reward is going to be complete and full for you, so you can do it with no problems. The reason behind that is that the, the entire year is ahead of you to make up whatever days you missed in, in uh, Ramadan. Whilst if you delay, you only have 28 or 29s, excluding the day of Eid, and whether it's 29 or 30 days of Shawwal, you only have 28 or 29 days to fast, whatever the makeup is, and add six days. If someone is tired, if someone becomes ill, Ladies who will get their menses for another two weeks there, it, it can be difficult and it can be a non-achievable issue. And therefore, one can delay the makeup, fast the six days, and then make up, you know, at his convenience. However, it is best if one can, then he or she should hasten to make up the uh, days, the missed days of Ramadan, and then fast the six days if he or she are able, health-wise, 
time-wise. If not, then they can resort to the opinion of the majority of the scholars and no problem in that, inshallah. Now, another question raised, can I combine my intention, fasting the makeup and uh, intending to fast the six days? No, you can't. You cannot combine two, two intentions. One of them is for a mandatory act of worship with another optional. It's like someone saying, I will intend fast uh, praying the four sunnas before dhuhr with my dhuhr prayer and this one. And even for the four after that and this one, I will uh, hit three birds in one rock. No, you can't do that. You can, you can do that in a, diff a different setup, which I will address now. But with uh, mandatory, obligatory acts of worship cannot be combined in attention with the optional ones. However, one can intend fasting these six days and it will coincide with the Monday and Thursday, which are also recommended days to fast. And with the three days in the middle of the month, which are also recomm uh, recommended to be uh, fasted as per the different narrations of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Finally, Ibn Rajab, uh, may Allah have mercy on him, said, fasting these six days uh, are a sign and a way of thanking Allah Azza wa Jal for the favor of enabling us to fast Ramadan. And as Al Uthaymeen said, Rahmatullah Ali, it is a sign that the deed before was accepted because he is of the opinion, as uh, are many other scholars, that being able to perform a good deed after another good deed is a sign that the first deed was accepted. Whereas when one becomes deprived for performing good deeds, it's not a very good sign regarding the deed he had performed before that. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us all to fast these six days and to give us this full reward. Allahumma ameen wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.